Hi, it's Mike from DrillYourOwnWell.com. At our house, we originally had an open loop geothermal system where we pumped well water through the heat pump and then back down into three injection wells. On the screen is an example of an open loop system from EarthRiverGeo.com. Unfortunately, we have iron in our water, and after pumping hundreds of thousands of gallons through the system and into the injection wells, they plugged up. We decided to switch to a vertical loop system where water is circulated through closed loops of high density polyethylene pipe, commonly called HDPE, that are inserted into holes drilled into the ground. An example of this from orbisgeothermal.com is now on the screen. We have a four ton heat pump and the rule of thumb in our part of the country is to use 250 feet of vertical loop for each ton of capacity. So we needed a total of 1,000 feet of vertical loop. I drilled a few of the holes myself just to find out if it was practical for a person to install their own vertical loop system. It isn't. After drilling five 50 foot holes myself, I called the good folks at Johnson Well Drilling in Foley, Alabama. Driller Mac Johnson, assisted by twin brothers Dalton and Dylan Moore, came out and did their usual outstanding job. I had drilled 250 feet in five months, and they drilled the remaining 750 feet in five hours. I think it is fairly safe to say they are just a bit better at this than I am. This video is to show the process of commercial drilling and the installation of geothermal vertical loops. First, the derrick is raised, and then the portable mud pit is lowered into position. Water is used as a drilling fluid. It is supplied by a water tank parked uphill from the drilling site. The portable mud pit is filled with water. This is the drill bit that will be used to drill the wells. Water is pumped down through the drill stem and cuttings are washed back up to the surface in the annular space between the drill stem and the edge of the hole. The cuttings, in the form of sand and clay, must be continually shoveled out of the portable mud pit. To add a piece of drill stem, lubricant is applied to the new piece of drill stem. It is then screwed into the existing drill stem. Chocks used to hold the drill stem are removed and it is lowered into place. The fast plug used to hold the new piece is removed. Then the Kelly is screwed into the drill stem and drilling is resumed.
two red hydraulic units are powerful mud pumps used to circulate the drilling fluid. The blue pieces on top are dampers that smooth the flow of drilling fluid. The red unit is a rotary table. It is driven by a drive shaft that is connected to a 5-speed transmission. Different drilling speeds are used depending on the type of material being drilled. Bentonite clay is added to the drilling fluid to solidify the sides of the hole. This prevents the sandy walls of the hole from caving in, thereby permitting very deep holes to be drilled. Note that the bentonite is being added just above the suction hose for the mud pumps. After the hole is drilled, a length of HDPE pipe is inserted into the hole. The pipe has a U-bend at the bottom end. A length of rebar is attached to the bottom end to facilitate insertion into the hole. This is a 250-foot loop of HDPE pipe. It takes several minutes to feed 250 feet of pipe into the hole, so we're going to pick up the pace here a little bit. Next, the portable mud pit is loaded back onto the drilling rig. As it is loaded, the HDPE pipe is pulled free. Then the drilling rig can be moved to the next drill site. And here's the finished product ready to connect to the geothermal system. As the drillers move on to the next hole, let's look more closely at a few steps in the process. Here, Johnson Well Drilling personnel are setting the portable mud pit into position. Watch as the rig itself is used to pound the nose of the mud pit into the ground. This ensures that no drilling fluid will leak out into the surrounding area.
Now the drill bit is being installed. And drilling begins on the new hole. Watch closely as a new piece of drill stem is added. You kind of get the impression that these fellows have done this a couple of times. Here's another look at the process of adding a piece of drill stem. Now let's watch as the drillers remove the drill stem from the hole. This is known as tripping the pipe out of the hole.
And again, after the hole is complete and the drill stem has been removed, it is time to insert the 250 foot loop of high density polyethylene pipe into the hole. Many thanks to the folks at Johnson Well Drilling in Foley, Alabama for permitting us to document the drilling and HDPE geothermal loop installation process. Thanks for watching.